Ladies and gents, Resto Druid, the power of the tree returns in its final form. Well, probably not final, we're bound to have another expansion, but still, here we are, Wall of Draenor. Healing changes are bound for everybody, but the Resto Druid stands strong. Stands really strong, it does indeed. Return to its niche is the feeling that I am getting from this. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, when the tree was initially developed and it moved from its rank 4 healing touch spam of vanilla, they decided, you know what? Let's make a hot base class. Let's make a hot based class that really takes the power of heals over time and makes them work. In fact, it took a it took about half an expansion during TVC for the druids to accept their role as the heals over time. People didn't like tree farm. As hard as that is to believe, people hated tree farm. They thought it was ridiculous that they didn't have this wonderful big strong heal all the time instead of using these heals over time. What's the point, right? And then people started to understand the power of the life bloom and the power of the rejuve and the power of the regrowth. And then we had some really good times. Of course, what we then saw over the next few expansions is many more healer classes joined there. We had the pallies with the eternal flame. We had all sorts of renews that could be renewed again. Pardon, my, pardon the turn of phrase there. With cascade and all that kind of stuff. Everybody had a heal over time, right? Riptide joined the game and all these kind of things. Now, those spells aren't going away for the other classes, but they are far less effective. The other healers are moving more towards a cast time approach. Which means that the druid is returning to its niche, which is going to be very cool. Very cool. That niche has been hurt somewhat over the last few months due to the power of absorbs and dispriests kicking our asses left and right and just generally making heals over time. A little bit difficult to make them work. We're getting the odd ticks here and there unless the raid is really suffering heavy damage. And now absorbs are getting kicked in the teeth. They're getting brought back down. The other healers are having cast time added to them. The druid included with its wild growth now having a cast time, but still it's a very powerful spell. And it certainly feels after playing a variety of healers that we are getting back into that the power of heals over time and making them more centered and focused around the Resto Druid. It would seem to me that we're likely to get a scenario where Resto Druid is pretty much a fundamental core part of any raid team. In a 10-man, we're bound to be slapping that guy in there. Of course, we're looking at flex. You're going to want to have a Resto Druid in there. So good times abound. A level 100 talents aren't exciting, I would say, but they're powerful and practical, and that's really what we want. We've got double rejuice for the tank, which is what I'm rolling with and seems to be the go-to, which is because it's just nice, right? Your tank's going to be taking that damage. Those rejuves are ticking independently of each other. The way I see it is it's almost as if it's a double tick time, like a Genesis re uh, re rejuvenation going on on the tank there, which is fantastic. It works really well. It's also a nice change that Life Bloom is a single stack now. We're not just stacking it to three and having to take a glyph where we can swap it. Blizzard decided that was just ridiculous. If people are just going to glyph to swap it around, then we might as well just make it a single stack and it just goes ahead and does its job for you. You still get to keep Healing Touch, which is nice, and your Swift Men still exists, and also we get the power of the Mushrooms. Mushrooms Detonate is gone, which is, you know, it's a little sad. You could set it up quite nicely for a very cool Mushroom Detonate, but Again, it's not about the big burst. That's not what the Tree Druid seems to be about anymore. It seems to be about constant heals over time, always easing the pressure of the other healers. While they have their cast time issues going on, we nicely fall back into the power of the Tree Druid, which is just keeping everything topped up while those casts go on. Wonderful to see that. Of course, we've still got great mobility, which is going to be even more core. As we move into Wall as a Draenor, again, the cast time meaning other healers don't have that power while moving like they once have. We're not going to see things like Prayer of Mending and all that going off while we're on the move. But of course, the rest of Druid can still be throwing around Redrews and Life Blooms and can get off all these spells. Very, very nice. We still have Nature Swiftness, so all good. So not a great deal of change, but because of the changing environment, that's actually quite good. Is what I want you to take away from this. The rest of Druid hasn't changed a great deal. But that's okay, because it didn't need to. What it's actually going to do is change the entire healing scenario, how that works out. That's my gut feeling on it so far. Of course, this is still beta, guys. So always take that with a pinch of salt, is that things are going to change. Things might change. But so far, looking really good. You should be excited about it, that if you're a Wrestle Druid... You're in fine shape. You are absolutely in fine shape. All right, guys. There's a quick look at how the Resto Druid is doing. I'll see you next time.